Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your Word. Thank you for the consistency of your Word and that day by day we can learn from you. I pray that you by your Holy Spirit will teach us about you, your Son Jesus and your ways and the ways that you want us to be in this world. And again, we just give you thanks for caring so much about us. We love you and thank you for Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Use Liberty to Serve. And it's taken from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 13. As we have studied the words of Paul to the church members of Galatia, we have learned much about the liberty from the law that the doctrine of grace provides. We also have learned there are those who are opposed to this liberty, and we have seen Paul's pointed reaction to them. However, what are the Galatians supposed to do with this liberty once they know they have it? Paul answers that question in chapter 5 and verse 13, where he wrote, For brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Paul has just desired that those who distort the gospel of Jesus Christ be cut off. And now he directs his attention to giving reason and purpose to those who are free. He begins, For, brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Let's note first that Paul points to a reason he desires the false teachers be cut off. He employs, employs the word for, which denotes because or on account of. And then he calls the believers in Galatia brethren again. He lets them know there is a certain freedom that is provided by the doctrine of grace. Because the law was not able to be kept because of the flaws in people, it was necessary for one to come to fulfill the law so that all who believe in him could be saved. Jesus was and is that one. Now all who have given their lives to him have been called unto liberty from the keeping of the law as a basis for salvation. Paul goes on to say, Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Paul knows that there are some who may decide to use their liberty to fulfill fleshly desires. They might use phrases like, I am free from the law so I can do whatever I want to do. And then they go on to indulge their flesh in whatever fleshly, fleshly appetite they possess. Paul directs them away from using grace to fulfill their flesh. Rather, he points them to the real purpose of grace, but by love serve one another. The doctrine of grace was to lead them to a life of service toward one another by love. Because they were liberated from concentrating upon keeping of the law and being righteous because of it, the church members were free to love one another and be gracious to one another and serve one another as a church body. In other words, their liberty had purpose and they were now free to serve others. Do we understand that we have been called unto liberty? Have we enjoyed the freedom that is within the doctrine of grace? Have we used our liberty to fulfill the desires of the flesh? Or have we used our liberty to serve others by love? Maybe our meditation today should be to think over these questions and ask the Lord Jesus as we thank him for his grace to fulfill us through his, uh, his service to others or our service to others by love that his liberty has provided. Let freedom ring within us, and as we use our lives to serve others, let Jesus Christ be shown as Lord. Next time, we will see how all the law is fulfilled, so read ahead and let us join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.